Whoa, look at these. Ladybugs have been celebrated throughout culture and history because they defend plants from pests and they're charismatic. In fact, the ladybug is a state insect in at least six states, including right here in New York. But about 20 years ago, certain species of ladybugs started disappearing while other populations flourished. Now scientists are trying to understand why and they need your help to do it. You may think of a ladybug as a cute red bug with black spots, but that variety is just a small percentage. Of the 450 different types of ladybugs in North America, only about 70 are the classic red and black ladybugs. And ladybugs technically aren't even bugs. What we would call them are lady beetles, officially, um, because they are beetles. We, there's a difference between a bug, which is like a a uh, soldier bug or a stink bug and, and a beetle which has the, the hard wings and so if you think of a ladybug it's got the, the two hardened wings it looks like it has a shell but actually those are wings called elytra that open up and the flying wings are sort of underneath that. A baby ladybug, a young one, looks like a little alligator and, and a lot of people wouldn't even recognize it as the same thing as a ladybug. In many countries ladybugs are considered good luck because they prey on pests that eat crops like aphids. In Iran, they're called good news, and in Switzerland, they're referred to as God's little fatty. The name uh, ladybug or lady beetle comes from, uh, it was originally beetles of Our Lady, which means that people would pray to the Virgin Mary, Our Lady, to bring the ladybugs to deliver them from the pests that would eat their crops. Now native populations of ladybugs are in decline, while others, particularly foreign species like the multicolored Asian ladybug, are becoming more common. The U.S. Department of Agriculture brought in the foreign beetles to control pests. If you had gone out even, again, even 20 years ago, you would have encountered almost all native ladybugs. Now if you go out, most people are encountering foreign ladybugs. With funding from the National Science Foundation, John Losey at Cornell University is collaborating with scientists at South Dakota State University and the Agricultural Research Service of the USDA on the Lost Ladybug Project, a database that will ultimately help scientists track the different populations of ladybugs. They're enlisting the help of citizen scientists, especially kids, to find, photograph, and send images to the database. Every data point that we're going to look at is going to be linked to an image that we can identify as a, as a certain species. As, as we get more and more points on our, on our map of where these rare ones are, we can start to see, okay, here's a, here's a viable population of this species, here's a viable population of this one. And what we hope is that eventually we can even get those federally listed as either threatened or endangered and be able to protect those species so that we can figure out why they declined and maybe they can start to make a comeback. Already, the program has been successful. Two years ago, the nine-spotted ladybug was feared extinct in parts of the United States, including New York, where it is the official state insect. Now, scientists aren't so sure. I'm here in Arlington, Virginia, where in 2006, Jonathan and Jolene Penhill found the nine-spotted ladybug, the first sighting of the insect on the East Coast in 14 years. We looked at school, he, at the rose garden around our house and any place that had a rose bushes. The best technique for capturing ladybugs is that say there's a ladybug here, you kind of want to gently scrape it off with your hand and then put it in the, in the container and then take your camera and shoot it. But scientists aren't just looking for the rare ladybugs. If people are only looking for the rare ones, then it almost makes them look sort of more common than, than they are. You can help scientists by contributing to the Lost Ladybug Project. Just go to www.lostladybug.org.